It, it is so profound to bring open intelligence more and more into the foreground of our um, perception. So open intelligence is always present, always on. It's just gone unnoticed because, at least in my experience, it was like that. I was so focused on my thoughts, emotions and sensations, all of my data, that I didn't know that there was something about me always present, always alert, cognizant, always um, reliable, something I could always rely on in my experience, something stable. My thoughts were always changing. I mean, they, they do whatever they like, my emotions do whatever they like and sensations, but there was something about me, and that's what open intelligence I got introduced to, that's always stable. And that's what I brought more and more into the foreground in my perception by taking short moments. That's a simple tool we use in, in balanced view. <laughs> Taking short moments, whenever we remember to do so, we rest body and mind completely. Recognizing open intelligence is present. Checking in with open intelligence. Always on, never has gone anywhere. If we recognize it or not, open intelligence always there. So we might as well can recognize it. Because it makes our life easy. It makes our life so much more light, enjoyable and easeful. Because we are not going with all the descriptions. You know, when we go off with the descriptions of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, all our data, then we see we are just completely lost in, in all the, the data stream. We don't see clearly. But from the vantage of open intelligence, we can see clearly. And not only can we see clearly, we have also so much more energy because I used all my energy basically to rearrange my thoughts and emotions. Try to get more positive data, Try to get rid of the negative data, so trying to get rid of anger, irritation, um, sadness. I thought that's not what open intelligence is, that's something I need to change. But what I saw is that open intelligence and these data streams are inseparable. Like the heat is inseparable from fire, we cannot separate that out. So also open intelligence and our data are inseparable. That's a, a profound key point because that made all the difference for me. Because suddenly I saw I don't need any certain data streams in order to feel at ease, to feel completely um, happy and um, beneficial when, when, when there's irritation or sadness going on. Open intelligence, shining force, something that I can totally rely on. Something that I can rely on to see clearly in situations where where irritations come up. I mean, everybody probably knows that and it was so beautiful how you see it so clearly that there is a choice. We have a choice. When irritation comes up, we have a choice how we want to deal with the irritation. We can indulge it, like totally go into it. We try to avoid it. We avoid the person, maybe, that is irritating us. Or we can replace it with trying to have a b better thought. Oh, no, I'm not irritated or maybe eating a chocolate cake or um, whatever we like to do there and then but also the other choice is the fourth option that we're introduced here in Bansu is to allow it to be as it is not going into the irritation allowing the irritation to be as it is and see what happens if we if we don't go off with the irritation suddenly some open intelligence allows us to see clearly in that moment how we can be of benefit in that situation that supports us, but also the other person involved. We are not acting anymore from that space of irritation, but from a vantage of open intelligence that's always beneficial, yet clear, can be clear, direct, or whatever is needed in that circumstance, we will completely know. And that's really amazing to see. That's something that we can rely on, because the irritation is something, it comes and then it just resolves. So what is what you want to rely on? What is really true about that experience? It's open intelligence. Because we cannot hold on on the irritation. Oh, so often I have acted upon my irritation and like half an hour later or maybe even right away I realized, oh my God, what, why did I say that? The, because the irritation was suddenly poof, <laughs> gone. And ah, or I had the same circumstance appearing. One time it irritated me, the other time it was nothing. So I saw that it's, not about the other person. It's not the fault of the other person that irritation comes up for me. That was really powerful for me to see. 
ah, no, I can take responsibility, allow it to be as it is, and then see how I can move from there. How, if I need to address something, if something is needed, or if I just, yeah, wh whatever is needed in that moment, it will be so clear. But it's, it's really taking responsibility for our data streams, and then we can just see so clearly. Then we have so many options and see, okay, what, what is of most benefit? We see it so clearly. That's also with decision-making. We just see it so clearly, what will be of most benefit. And for me, it was really like that, that I had to allow myself time to get familiar with open intelligence in all kinds of decision-making. You know, it's beautiful what you shared. You see the benefits in that. And it's natural that we then sometimes question and then we allow it to be as it is. And we can just totally trust that, that the trust also just opens up more and more. It's through our direct experience. That has been my experience. Just by testing it out, also the trust opened up more and more. It's really through... That, that's basically what convinced me so much <laughs> and assured me. It's just my own direct experience of testing it out in all these situations where I could see that, oh wow, yeah, open intelligence, it always, always... Um, always wins, basically. Open intelligence always allows me to see what is of most benefit. Open intelligence saves the day. I kind of said that once, and I'm like, yeah, it's so true. In every situation, I can trust it completely. And I, it just grew more and more, just by testing it out. So that's what I did when I came here, testing it out. I came to an open meeting. Great, if you're here for the first time, come back tomorrow. Just get c familiar with, with, with what is offered here. It takes a little bit of time to get familiar with the language. And also, for me, it was so radical, different in how I used my mind. So I just had to let it settle. We are here until tomorrow, open meeting. But then we, have, we can put talks on your device. And you can listen to a talk every day and just see what happens. It's magic. It's amazing because these short moments, you will see more and more ease within your own direct experience. I've noticed that, like after my second open meeting, I could already sense some a change within myself that was, it was very little, but it, it's like, wow, I react differently in that circumstance, like I usually did. I could see there was already a, a benefit there, and I'm like, wow, okay, this is interesting. I'll, I'll listen a bit more. And, and that's, that's how we can just test it out in our own direct experience. It's, it's, for me, it, I mean, that's also why I'm here and sharing, because I see the benefits and the results so clearly. I see that it works. It works for me, it works for so many people. And it, it, it's just the way we are different in the way we use our mind that makes all the difference. Just a slight change in how we, we deal with our thoughts, emotions and sensations. Doesn't mean that the thoughts and emotions and sensations go away. It's very natural to feel everything. You can even feel, I feel sometimes even more, I feel like, because I allow myself to feel everything fully. I'm not afraid anymore of my emotions or sensations. I can really open up completely. Open up completely, but there's a stability and a groundedness inseparable from that, that allows me to just be in the world completely stable and beneficial, connect truly with everyone. In a, in, a, in a very profound way that, that doesn't shut down, that doesn't um, describe or like shut some people down, some people are like, no, it's just complete openness towards everyone. And, and that's the beauty from this really recognizing open intelligence as your true nature. It's really like amazing way to really empower everything about ourselves in a very natural way, very natural. Also relating with other people, it just becomes natural. In the beginning, I wasn't also quite sure what happens when I take short moments. I was, I was so used to describing all my thoughts and sharing with everyone, analyzing myself and others and sharing what I see about them. I mean, crazy. And so it took me, like, it was a bit weird in the beginning for me to, okay, now I'm, I'm just relaxing. What do I do? You know, but what I saw is, it nat it, it's just natural. We naturally settle into it, and then it becomes a natural relating. You know, you, you, you will know, even if it's a bit, oh, in the beginning, but it's so natural, then we see what will be of most benefit. And then it can include everything. That can, of course, also include sharing about our data, but mostly I don't share about my data. 
if it's not of benefit or if I don't want to clarify or, you know, like it's, I, I saw that I don't need to meddle with my data anymore. But not to go into extreme, of course, I mean, we share all that like we can share very naturally. But I, for me personally, it was an amazing shift in that. Suddenly I didn't need to analyze everything with my friends about how I felt here and there and why he did this and that, you know, wow, so much more space to be relaxed and at ease and enjoy each other. Well, it's, all my relationships became just so much more enjoyable because the heaviness of needing to really oh, now share and oh, how did you feel, I feel like this and, and you know, it gets so heavy, isn't it? And, like, and now it's just like ah, such an enjoyment to be together and just enjoy each other's presence and, and, and beauty in that. And, um, of course, when things come up, we can be in touch with the trainer just to empower the data stream. Because that's what we ultimately want to do. We want to empower everything about ourselves. That nothing is in the way anymore of um, powerful relating, being of benefit. So we just allow ourselves to see everything and take that opportunity to clarify things that come up. And th for that we have the four mainstays. The Four Mainstays is the, the short moments that we were speaking about, that we can take everywhere with us and test it out. We have all the trainings also online, so when we pack up here, you can go to the website, get trainings, do online trainings, video conference trainings, or visit other areas in, in the world where um, the trainings are offered. You can be in touch through a clarity call or another training with a trainer to clarify data streams. Um, then being with a community on calls but also face to face. Just seeing like, wow, there, there are people that, that are completely at ease. They take responsibility for their data. They're not playing out data. When irritation comes up, it's not played out. Isn't that amazing? You can, you're so safe to come here because you know other people will not play out their data streams and of course things come up. I mean we we are from everywhere over the world and we work together. Things come up for everyone but everybody takes responsibility for their data and then it's so smooth and and easeful because the focus is of what will be of most benefit to all. What will serve everyone involved? Not only my uncomfortability or you know I need to try to feel safe or I need to say something because I feel like that. No, it's just Okay, what serves the moment for the benefit of all? And that clear seeing just becomes so natural. It opens up naturally more and more in our direct experience. And then we see, wow, actually that's something how we can really take it with us into our everyday life. Something that we can apply directly to our friends, relationships, workplace, everything. It's so applicable and it makes everything easy. It makes life so easy and beautiful and enjoyable.